apron. I'm sure the other pieces have names. Honestly, I don't care at this point. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Rattlecan's house. I am James and today we are going to uh, disassemble a window. Uh, not really, not really going to disassemble it. We're going to take the window sill out. In our case, uh, it appears to be made of granite. And then we're going to take the trim pieces off of the top, uh, the sides, and then finally the bottom, which apparently is called the apron. I'm sure the other pieces have names. Honestly, I don't care at this point. Uh, these are the last two windows uh, that we're going to do because they're the last two that have these, these window sills in them. Now, this window that you're looking at right now is the only window that has had this, like a weather stripping um, stuffed in between the window sill and the bottom of this uh, window case. Um, it didn't take any time to, to pull out of there, and it sure would have been nice if that was in the rest of the house, which, of course, we all know it was not. So anyways, I'm just going to come over and pull this, uh, this granite sill plate out. Um, and this one comes out pretty easy. Hold on. So now, this is the apron. These are the shims. Actually, it works if I tape where I'm pointing. These are the shims that hold it up and are supposed to hold it up tight to this portion. I don't know if the house settled. I don't know if the wood dried out and caused all of these. You can see this one over here is undisturbed, but there's still a gap in between there. And this one, at least in this one part, has a piece of weather stripping in it. So you can see the gap here. And, uh, you know, what the mechanics is behind that, I don't have any idea. I just know that we have to fix it. Um, so now that we've gotten that sill out of there, what we can do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a knife, utility knife, and I'm going to score both sides of these pieces uh, to get the paint to release it. And then I'm going to work my way probably down into this corner. apron off now. The, uh, the flat bar and a piece of wood uh, are your friends. What you don't want to do is to go under here and crank back on this because you will blow this out. Um, you will crumble this, especially if it's plaster. The other thing I've found is that sometimes if you just give it a good tug, you can get part of that already to start for you and then you just walk it out. Um, so now you can see where they have nailed into the plaster 
and they're not they're not trying to nail the apron to the plaster they're trying to nail the apron into this piece of wood back here they just have to go through the plaster to get there which often causes all sorts of mayhem so now let's see can we just can we get a start just There we go. So see, I've got that little opening there. That's really all I need to get started. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Absolutely should have some wine. <laughs>